Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and this is a Toyota Supra 2JZ swapped 1968 Ford Mustang convertible. This is like straight out of Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. This thing is awesome. But the cool story about it is that this car actually started life as an inline six cylinder Mustang convertible, where it was stripped apart and given a complete rotisserie restoration with new metal on just about every single panel except the A pillars and modern performance parts. I mean, just listen to this thing. That glorious powertrain you just heard is an upgraded high compression 2JZ GTE engine found in a Mark IV Toyota Supra. The turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 now features a machine block amongst other things like an HKS cam and is paired with a 67 millimeter precision turbo and pro EFI ECU to make 443 horsepower to the wheels on just 15 pounds of boost and I think it makes around 730 when turned up to 30 pounds. Now the 2JZ is paired with a General Motors Stage 2 TH400 3-speed automatic transmission from TSI and a Ford QuickTime built 9-inch rear end sending power to the rear wheels. The interior has also been updated and features autometer sport comp gauges, sound editing, pro car seats, a custom center console, and the battery was relocated to the trunk. This 1968 Mustang also features a Shelby drop because, of course, Bilstein shocks, wheel with disc brakes, aluminum radiator, aftermarket steering rack, and weld RTS wheels with skinnies in the front and drag radials in the rear. Now, I don't know what was spent on the build, but the car was originally listed on eBay with a starting bid of $35,000. I wish we could see what it sold for, but the cool part about this is it was originally a six-cylinder car swapped with a new straight six, now making a ton of power, and it's even a reference to sort of Fast and Furious, but being a little bit different in that it's a convertible. It's just an all-around cool car that you can bet absolutely rips. Now, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, could hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this awesome build, and of course, if you like content like this, don't forget to hit subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.